I was 29 years old when I walked into Biosphere 2. And I was about to spend the next two years of my life with seven other people. Part of our training had been living out in the outback of Australia with small groups of people. And this is way out in the middle of nowhere. Then another part was living on a ship in the, in the middle of the ocean for a month at a time with just you know, a few other people. And I really thought that we were prepared for going inside Biosphere 2 into this isolated environment. We, we broke into two factions of four people, two men and two women on each side. And it turns out that that's strangely a, a very normal occurrence for groups in, in, in enclosed environments. It, it happens in the Antarctic, it happens in space, it's just something that happens. It's incredibly uncomfortable though and, and, and heartbreaking when it's your friends that are on the other side. And two of the people that were on the other side of this divide were my best friends when I walked into the biosphere. So biosphere was designed to do two things. The first one was to be a prototype for space bays on Mars, for instance. And then the second thing that it was designed to do was to be, if you will, a test tube for life. So we can bottle up life and study it so that we might understand more about the Earth. The oxygen uh, started going down right from word go, but we didn't see it until partway through the experiment. And all of a sudden, it was this huge mystery. Where's all the oxygen going? Well, I cut off part of my finger in a threshing machine. And, um, one of the other biospherians was uh, threshing wheat, I think it was. And that's how you just get all the wheat seeds off of the, off of the stalks. And I was cleaning the machine, and my hand got stuck in it. We were hungry all the time. You know, when I got up from a meal, I was hungry. It was really quite miserable from that point of view. Um, and the most difficult part, part about that is that when you get that hungry, you end up having to budget your energy. You know, by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I still had a whole field to weed or go into the rainforest and cut down a bunch of dead leaves or something, I had no more energy left. That was really hard part about being so hungry. I was in the biosphere for two years and 20 minutes. <laughs> I have a lot of stories about biosphere too. <laughs>